Evan Aldo here. So in this one, we're going to go over uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, um, Luna, <laughs> and I think that's it. Yeah, that's mainly all the, uh, the altcoins I've been trading lately. Um, a lot of trades in the exclusive Discord um, went long on ADA. Uh, last night, that was the first trade. I did this basically um, the last few moments that I could keep my eyes open last night, and it worked out perfectly on this uh, crossover around here. That was a trade in the... Uh, the exclusive Discord under altcoins, a lot of trades. I can't even remember them all. <laughs> and then they hit along, and then uh, we hit the uh, hit two take profits. Took some more profits this morning on it. Um, I believe fifty percent of the position remains in for me. I'm going to take some more profits at a uh, two twelve Luna. Um, went long, hit first profit, got stopped out in profit. Ethereum um, was interesting. Went long on that, and. Uh, almost got stopped out you know that was right before the big dump today but ethereum wasn't as bad as bitcoin interested which was interesting um still in that trade hit first profits profits are locked in and just went short on bitcoin i don't believe um i hit the uh this is all you can check in the link below to access the exclusive discord if you guys are interested um i don't believe we hit the first or i don't believe i hit the first uh never financial advice any of this i don't believe i hit the first take profit got close though around 60 almost there like almost there, I think Bybit, um, where I traded this short was a little bit more, but um, let's do a top-down analysis here. So, you know, busy trading day. Uh, I was on Jason Casper uh, before, so um, kind of a long day for me, <laughs> um, but you know, let's see, without further ado. So we have on the daily, you know, two-day daily, this is what keeps me leaning a little bit more bullish, at least for, you know, the medium to long term. Um, in the very short term, I, th I believe, you know, there's good reasons to believe that that short position will be a winner. But, you know, if it gets stopped out, no big deal. I've won the last, let's see, one, two, three trades. So three out of four for the last 24 hour period. That's pretty good, if you ask me. All right, well, it's pretty, pretty average. Sometimes more than that. I mean, the, the, you try to be in the 80, 90% uh, win rate where I try to be based on my TA. It's usually doable. Um, so these higher time frames, you know, you're curving up with the VWAPs. You're curving up with the VWAPs. Looks healthy, you know, looks healthy. I think the three days are main cause for concern, especially this combined with like the four hour being the red. So this is one of those turning points or one of those points where, you know, when you have a lot of conflicting information, maybe you go sideways for a bit. After a big run up like this, if we do continue bullish, it's probably gonna look something more like, it's gonna be more choppy. It's not gonna be like just straight up. You know, you may, something like that. Or, you know, what I was thinking, what I've been talking about yesterday is, you know, some situation like, let's look at the uh, Fib level from, uh, top to bottom and right about let's see right about here yeah, that'd be a cool place if we hit right in this uh point uh, i'm not even gonna bother trying to point six one eight fib level um combined with the spider line around 72 that'd be pretty cool by november 10th or something and then i think we may have a dump um in november yeah I, I'm, I'm in the ballpark that we'll probably have one last shot to get in at bitcoin at 50k but don't be waiting obviously dca in if you're uh depending on how what type of investor or trader or whatever but you know for a long term you should be uh or not financial advice but i would be you know i'm still dca in well i'm mainly buying ethereum right now i think that's you know, more undervalued ethereum and cardano um and chain link but yeah so you know curving up here in the daily like i said we're still in the green in these time frames 16 hour i like this i do like this you know it seems like it's getting a little high maybe we could be in towards the place where we'll finally come down our size is starting to come down a little bit, but let me curve back up. Uh, 12 hour um, view up coming up. Yeah, you know, that nice little uh, green dot right there. We'll see if it confirms. 11 hours to confirm. We'll see what happens with that. Six hour money flow. You know, coming down. Money flow coming down. Prices coming down. Nothing. Not too much of a cause for concern. Not too much of a cause for concern. Not in my opinion, anyway. Here's where you get more of a cause for concern. You're in the red. You know, you've been in the green for a while. You're in the red. You came down a bit. Um, not forming a bullish divergence just yet. VWAP is coming down, one of the reasons why I uh, entered a short a little while ago. And let's look at our three hour, same type of deal. VWAP coming down, we're in the red. Two hour, VWAP coming down, we're printing that red dot, we're printing that red dot. Hour and 20 minutes to confirm. It could go either way here, it could go either way here. Um, you know, hourly curving in, uh, curving, you know, curving, you know, you're in the red. Uh, 30 minute, let's see here, great curvature. You know, this was a great entry back here. Um, I couldn't keep my eyes open um, when the good entry happened last, would have happened last night. I literally fell asleep. So I, I posted in the Discord, I'm like, if the money flow crosses on the 10 minute on the ETH, I'm probably gonna enter. 
fell asleep, couldn't keep my eyes open, had a long day, was on, <laughs> was on uh, yeah, by the beach and stuff yesterday, so uh, yeah, um, and yeah, let's see here, it probably won't be a bull, yeah, it wouldn't be a bullish divergence if we get the next, you know, uh, green dot there, 15 minute, the reason I kind of went in was basically on this 15 minute crossover that combined, you know, with a lot of view ups coming down, a lot of other things happening, Makes me think we'll probably come down to 60k. May get may get tested at 60k. Maybe this is the bottom, but I don't think so. You know, if we look at really low time frames, yeah, you can make the argument. You know, money is flow coming up, flowing up. Five minute. I mean, 30 minute about to turn to green dot, but eh, I think we got. I think there's a good shot. Um, yeah, my trade will be my short trade will be right. All right, probably locking some profits pretty soon. And let's look at Ethereum. So. Ethereum, um, basically, you know, let's look at the, the tie, higher time frames. Uh, two day, yeah, a little bit different than Bitcoin because you are printing. You can confirm the the red dot. You're printing the red dot right here. The three day, you're about to print the red dot. This is a divergence. This is a divergence. While money flow is coming down, oof, this could bring us down a bit. This could bring us down a bit. Um, I'm looking, you know, to to, to possibly short this pretty soon. Um, 12 hour, this is where you have some hope. I mean, Ethereum's, um, you do have some hope. You can go farther into the uh, into green here. Um, here, eh, that was basically a divergence. You can make the argument it's played out. Here to here, you're probably almost gonna get another divergence pretty soon. I've been long in this since about, I think 42, low 42s. Profits are locked in. Um, so yeah, um, got in a little later than I wanted to. Couldn't keep my eyes open like I was saying. Um, so here to here. You know, that basic divergence in the four hour coming down, your VWAP is coming down. Um, let's try a little, uh, I'd like to draw some type of FIB level here. If I could go back far enough, let's see. So we have our area here that we hit pretty closely, bounced off of that. See if we could break through here. I mean, I'd have to draw a FIB level down from our previous all time. Yeah, that was our previous all time high. So yeah, um, and here to here. You know, down from the you know, wick down and yeah it's right there so we basically hit it there we're gonna have a retest that maybe we'll blast through eh, i don't know daily is printing a green dot so it's different so it kind of sideways hard to read this chart really well um one hour eh, very choppy can't get too much out of this i mean let's see can we draw divergence not really not really almost 30 minute yeah, it looks like you may have some room to come up. You're about to print. You're about to print a little, little red dot here. It's a very close. You get that divergence. Maybe that brings us down a bit. 15 minute. Yeah, you're curving down. You're curving down. Clear divergence in the 15 minute. That's coming down. Um, if you're long, not financial advice. I would be taking some profit, especially if you went long around the uh, the dump earlier or long. Um, yeah, around 1 a.m. last night. I was not awake for that entry, but I was talking about it. 10 minute yesterday, this would have been a perfect entry right here. This is what I was talking about in the exclusive Discord, but yeah. Um, now's a good place to lock in profits if you haven't already. Not financial advice. So yeah, that's Ethereum. Um, what am I looking at here? Eh, you know, I'm not too, too worried about this. If we have a money flow crossover, especially as the view up is coming down on the three hour here, and you come up, say you come up to this general area again, you're probably going to get a big, yeah, maybe a double top pattern or something. You're probably going to come down more likely than not. So it's Ethereum. Let's look, take a look at Luna. We have not taken a look at Luna. I went long. Shout out to um to Andrew in my uh, in my exclusive Discord. He uh, he talked about in the uh, VIP chat about Luna. You know, there's so many coins. I can't really load, do TA on all of them. I would be just doing TA all day because there's just so many you could trade now. I mean, it was a different it was a different ball game. Like you know, last January. You, I remember when I first started. You know, with this, you can only really trade Bitcoin and Ethereum on leverage. There's a few others on Bybit, but no one really did it. But yeah. Um, here, so in the daily, uh, money flow coming out, um, not really a divergence because price is following it, so nothing too, too unhealthy. The daily green dot, uh, doesn't look too, too bad. 12 hour, uh, you're coming up, yeah, I'm printing the green dot, that looks not too, too bad. Let's draw a fib level, some type of fib level. Uh, let's go try this up, down, up, and then hitting right there. And, you know, you, you do have, you know, as price is generally coming up here, you do have momentum waves and money flow coming out. Generally, not a bad divergence, no real bad divergence here, but 
something to look at. And then uh, coming down like that, nothing too unhealthy. A little trigger wave, you can't make the argument there. You come back into the green, maybe. And four hour, you're in the green. Come more into the green, you're coming down with the fib. And a two hour, momentum waves coming down. Generally, let's see if we could draw a divergence here. Let's actually try to draw it here. Sometimes you try to eye it, it doesn't work too well. Um, sometimes you could eye it if it's a big you know, divergence. Uh, almost, you know, you almost have a divergence, like almost, but from there to there, it's kind of playing out. So nothing too, too unhealthy. I may finally pick some of this up for my HODL portfolio. I've never, it's a decent project. I know that. I can't tell you what it does, but I know it's a decent project. I, I read about it some months back and I really remember. But yeah, a little divergence there. That's coming down. How is the eight hour? Yeah, it's still up at the view up. So pretty neutral on this. You know, it could go either way, really. Kind of neutral. It's, a, it's not the easiest market to read right now. It really isn't. Just like three hour, I mean, you're going to print that. Not really divert. From there to there is definitely a divert. You're going to print that diverge on the three day, excuse me. So something to look at. Maybe we'll have that correction before. It's kind of only a matter of time before we do have some type of correction here. It could be a big correction. We haven't had like a, well, eh, we'll see. ADA. This was a good trade I took uh, last night. Nice little trade here. And daily. You're curving up at the daily, which is nice. I like this. I. You know, this is a very undervalued project. You're gonna have this, you probably have a divergence here relatively soon, a bullish divergence or at least something. And 12 hour, I like the curvature, it's coming up. You gotta be patient with this, you know, it's taken a while. Double red blood diamonds, eh, not the best thing, but this is a good project. Cardano, you know, Cardano means business. This is almost, you know, this is this is almost to be taken as seriously as, as Ethereum. It's not, but it's to get, you know, it's getting to that point. Um, coming, you know, it's going to come into the green. It's going to work at some point. I mean, it's probably the next time it comes into the green here on this eight hour, it'll work good. Four hour, you know, we've been in the red for a while. We've been bleeding for a while. I don't like to say the word, but there, there could be, and I very rarely say the word, could be some manipulation with this, could be. The one hour, curving up, finally curving, starting to curve up. 30 minute, ooh, ooh. Well, not a divergence. Well, there to, no, not a divergence yet, but you are curving up with the money flow. Not financial advice, maybe, as this comes up. Has a six hour again, yeah, view up, trying to come up. 15, maybe, maybe, maybe pretty soon. I'm still in this trade. My next take profit is uh, 210 or something like that. Um, if you wanna see these trades, uh, the link in the description below to my exclusive Discord. Um, don't wanna mention it too, too much. Don't wanna mention it, but I kinda just, you know, Tell you guys when I'm going in. Went in around, I don't know, some before I, yeah, generally around this general area last night. Yeah, nice trade so far. So that's those four. I mean, for the market, it's not the easiest market to read. Like to, to really recap on this, if you're still watching, you know, the Bitcoin thing I'm really watching is probably you know, six hour. If we do come down into the red, that may not be the best thing. Um, that trade I am in. Let's see, wow, not doing too well. Almost hit the first, oh, I believe it might have hit the first take profit. Might have, maybe not, almost, I have to look at that, but yeah, you're curving up there. There may be some hope, maybe it'll just come back down. We'll see what happens with that trade. All right, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, um, please check out my, <laughs> please check out my links below and uh, discount code Aldo15 if you wanna get market cipher. Check out my other links below if you want to help support the channel. Uh, Femix, Bybit, if you haven't create, if you don't have an account, want to create a new account, um, check those out below. All right, have a good one, guys. Goodbye.